What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Andre. If this is your first time here, hit that subscribe button. No, we finally leveled up. I know we're gonna look at another pillar in Jamaican Patwa in the form of the commonly used word de. So stick around and we'll jump right into it after this. Welcome back to the channel where we teach the language of Jamaica and try to do our part in preserving the Jamaican culture. Now today you'll notice I'm wearing a t-shirt from the brand Queer. Make sure you check out their online store, follow them on social media and do your part to show them your full support. Now in the last level, we covered a pillar of Jamaican Patwa which covered the use of the words me, you, uno, we, them and how we use fi. And in this lesson, we're going to look at how we use the dynamic word de. I'm very excited about this lesson because I have a couple of friends from Jamaica to assist, but I have a special guest who is actually a current member of parliament. Her name is the Honorable Anne-Marie Vaz and she supports the district of East Portland. Now, Portland is one of the most beautiful parishes in the country. And I highly suggest that if you're in Jamaica, you make sure that this is one of the places that you must visit. Okay, so due to how dynamic the word de is and how widely used it is in Jamaican Patois, this will be the first of a two-part video explaining the use of the word de. Okay, so before we jump into the video, we need to teach you the word that we use for here. And that in Patwa is the word ya. So whenever you hear ya going forward, it means here. So if someone were to say to you, come ya, what they're actually saying is, come here. Come ya. Come ya. Come ya. Come ya. Come ya. Okay, so let's look at the main way we use the word de. And that is in place of the physical location of verb to be. So wherever a noun, pronoun, or object is, am, um, are, was, or were, we use the word de. Now, we will cover was and were when we cover past tense in a later video. But if someone were to ask you where you were and you wanted to respond, I am here, it would simply be midea. So, me being I, de stands in place of am, and ya means here. Medea. 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 You can change the noun or pronoun in that sentence, and de will adapt to any version of the to be verb that would be appropriate. So, for example, you there would be you are here. Dem there, they are here. John there, John is here. My family, the home. My family is home. My family, the home. My family, the home. My family, the home. My family, the home. home. Now, in the previous lessons, we looked at the word fi and we, and when it meant should and will. No, to say should be or will be, we simply pair fi with de or we with de. So fi de would be should be and we de would be will be. So for example, to say I should be home around four would be me fi de home around four and I will be home around four would be me with the home around four. Patrick with the home now. The food with the pan the table. The food with the pan the table. Patrick with the home. Patrick with the home now. The food with the on the table. Patrick with the home now. Patrick with the home. The food with the on the table. This also works with all nouns, pronouns, and objects. Okay, now finally, to express have to be and want to be when it's location-based, we simply paired 
have fi with de for have to be and want fi with de for want to be. So for example, me have fi de home before dark would be I have to be home before dark. Or me want fi de home before it rains would be I want to be home before it rains. Happy day inside before it get dark. We have to day inside before it get dark. We have to day inside before it get dark. We have to day inside before it get dark. We have to day inside before it get dark. There's one exception to that though. Sometimes when it comes to want, the fi is omitted. So instead of saying want fi de, sometimes we'll omit the fi and just say me want de home before it rains. However, this is still understood. All right, so before we end the video, we're going to recap with two pieces of dialogue from a couple more of my friends to see if you have retained what you have learned so far. I will post a text on the screen along at the end with the English translation. I need to fill out a form for me. Your name for the online one and your address for the online two. If you have a phone number, it for the on top of the form. You want for the in front of the line early since you're here already. All right, so we have come to the end of the video. Thank you for hanging out with me. Make sure to join me on the next video for part two, where we'll cover the other dynamic ways in how we use the word deck. All right, guys, so we will see you on the next video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you'll be notified every time I post a new video. So once again, thanks for hanging out with me, and until next time, take it easy.